Hi, I'm Chris Skorlitsky. I'm with the Microsoft SQL Server Escalation Services team. And this is another edition of REPL Talk. Today I'm going to walk through the steps in Article 312.292. While troubleshooting SQL Server replication, we often want to capture a detailed step-by-step -step execution of what the agent is doing. One technique is to configure the agent to log its output to a text file. I'm going to walk through a couple of different ways to do this. If you want to see the text for this, go up to my blog site at blogs.msdn.com slash chrissk. First thing I want to do is go ahead and update a couple of data records. So I've got a, both a tran REPL and a merge replication publication. Let me go ahead and execute these. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I want to go ahead and I'm going to launch the replication monitor. And you can see it here. I first uh, connected with SQL Server Management Studio to my server and under replication, publications. And I'm going to go ahead and select launch replication monitor. And I'm going to go ahead and replication monitor and connect to my publisher. And the first example I'm going to do is a transactional replication publication. And I'd like to go under and look at the output from the log reader agent and see what it's doing. Let me go ahead and zoom in here. I'll show you. So again, a replication monitor. I selected the publication. And under agents, I've gone and highlighted my log reader agent. Let me right click on my log reader agent. Now I'm going to go down here and select Properties. What this will do for me is bring up the job properties for the replication log reader agent. Next I select Steps, Run Agent, and then down here in the bottom I'm going to go ahead and select the Edit button. This opens up the properties for that job step and this line here is all the parameters that are past the log reader agent when it starts. And if you look here at the end, I've added a dash output parameter and then a text file location. Now I always write these into a subdirectory. I never write them to the root directory of any uh, drive. I, so in this case I'm writing it to C temp. Now the file name can be anything we need. Um, it can be dot output, it could be dot log, it doesn't really matter. So let me go ahead and click OK. Click OK. Now I'm going to go ahead to the log reader agent. I'm going to go ahead and start up the log reader agent. And we'll do a refresh. Oh, in fact, I think it already finished. Let me go ahead and here, sure enough, here's my temp directory. And you can see there I've got my log reader text file got created. And let's go ahead, I'm just going to open it up here. You can see there's a lot of detailed information. Servers, parameters. What I like to do is I like to go down to the bottom of the agents. And usually I'll see the last steps the agents were doing. Let me go ahead and zoom in here. As you can see here, it's one of the last things it's done is it's gone ahead and dumped out some statistics about what the agent was executing. Now if there had been an error, I could also see what was the stored procedure that was being called, and maybe what was detailed information about the error message. I'll go ahead and unzoom back out again. I'm not going to cover the details for the log reader output, but I just kind of wanted to show you that it's there and some of the stuff you're going to see. Now let's go back over to Replication Monitor. When you're looking at subscriptions, it's a little bit different. Under Subscriptions, I right click on it and then I do view details. Let me go ahead and zoom in so you can see that. So again, when it's a agent like a publication agent like a snapshot agent or a log reader agent, I can select agents. But when it's a subscription like a distribution agent, then I go under subscriptions and then I select the view details. And now up on the top I need to select action and then the distribution agent job properties. Let me zoom in so you guys can see that a little bit. So I've gone and opened up the details for that agent, for that distribution agent, and under action I'm going to select distribution agent properties. 
And this is a very similar to the job properties we saw with the log reader agent. Again, I'm selecting steps, run agent, then down in the bottom I'm selecting the edit button. And for the command line, if I go all the way to the end, I can add dash output, and again the path to an output file. Add distribution dot out. Now for a merge publication, it's very similar. I go under my subscriptions, and here are my subscriptions. I can right click under them, go view details, again action, and then merge agent job properties. You can see that here. Selected the details, then action, then merge agent job properties. Let me select that. Go to my steps, my run agent. Down at the bottom, I click the edit button. And I go to the end of the line. And again, very much same to the like the log reader or the distribution agent. I've added the dash output and then a path to the location of a text file. Let me unzoom. Let me click OK. Click OK. And close this. And if I run that agent, I'd see that output file created. In fact, let's go ahead and do that. Start synchronizing. And there's my merge agent text file got created. Let's just go open it. I'm not going to go through all these details that are in here, but as you can see, there's a lot of information about what's being connected, what steps are being run, what stored procedures are being called to accomplish this. And get further down at the bottom, tells me about uh, what tables were updated and some statistics about how long it took to accomplish that. In this case, I've got uh, one update for the customer table. Now, there's another way we can get at these job properties. I'm doing this all through Replication Monitor. Again, right-clicking right -clicking on them, going to Details, Action, then going to the Job Properties. But since these are jobs, I can also get at some of the same information here by going in SQL Server Agent and selecting the job I want. For instance, here, this is the uh, log reader job for that particular publication. Now, the names are a little bit harder to see here. It's a server name, publication name, and then the number at the end represents like an agent ID. So you can see it's a little more cryptic, like exactly picking out which one is the merge and which one is the log reader or the snapshot. But if I go to the properties for it, I'll see this one here says that this is the log reader. It's the same thing we saw before when we went through Replication Monitor. Steps, the Run Agent, I select the Edit, and here at the end of the line is the property that we added for the output for the Log Reader Agent. So it doesn't matter if I get to the Agent Properties by going through the SQL Server Agent and clicking on them and selecting Properties, as I've done here, or whether I use Replication Monitor and I bring up the properties through Replication Monitor. Either way allows me to add the output parameter to the agent and allows me to see the detail step by step of what the agent is executing. Try this sometime with a test publication so you can kind of see what the information you'll get. The distribution agent, for instance, has a lot of statistics as it's running about how it's accomplishing and moving the data on down, similar to the log reader and the merge agent. So give those a try and uh, next time you run into a problem with an agent and it's doing something unexpected, try adding the output parameter to it. Take a look at the text file and see what clues it gives you to what the agent is doing. I hope this has been helpful for you. Hey, thanks for listening.